Hey guys, it's Seki here back again with another video. Today guys, I'll be showing you guys how you can install Windows via Bootcamp on your external SSD or hard drive updated for 2020. If by the end of this video you guys still need help, you can join my Discord server which I will leave the link to in the description and there I will try to help you out personally step by step. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. Now starting off, I want to go and tell you guys a few things that we need for this installation. First, you need to have a Windows PC on hand or install a virtual machine because we will be using an exclusive Windows software. And if you're going to use another Windows PC, you will also need a USB drive along with it. Finally, you are going to need a set of wired keyboard and mouse because when starting up Windows for the first time, we will not have access to the keyboard and the trackpad of the MacBook. And there also won't be any Bluetooth drivers installed either. Finally, with all that aside, you might need an external USB-C or USB hub if you're on a MacBook with only two Thunderbolt ports, as you will need to have three ports plugged in the whole time, which are your mouse or keyboard, the USB which you will need to install drivers, and your external SSD. Okay, so with all that aside, let's go ahead and dive right into the process. So first off in macOS, download the Windows ISO file. It is a little bit different to download the Windows ISO file when you're already on Windows. So make sure you're on macOS right now and I will leave the link of the ISO file in the description. Basically from here, just select the language and region and the version of the Windows you want. Download that and load it up on a USB drive. Your USB does have to be in the XFAT format instead of the FAT format because the ISO file is going to be larger than 4 gigabytes. So if you get an error transferring the ISO file to your USB drive, go to Disk Utilities, click on your USB and click Erase, and then select the new format as XFAT. But do know that your whole USB drive will be erased. Now once you have the ISO file on your USB drive, you want to go to Bootcamp Assistant, then click on Action, and finally download the Windows support files on your USB drive as well. We'll be using this file to install Windows drivers later in the process. Finally, go to Disk Utilities again and make sure that your external SSD or hard drive is also in the XFAT format. If it is not, click Erase and reformat it to XFAT. Again, note that this will erase your whole drive. So with all that done, we can now move on to the next steps in Windows. So again, you will first need a Windows device or a virtual machine. And I won't get into setting up a virtual machine as that is fairly easy to do and there's a lot of resources showing you how to do it. But essentially, I would just recommend using Parallels with a 14-day free trial for this one-time purpose and cancel it afterwards. So now on Windows, first download the software called Win2USB. Link for that will be in the description. After that, plug in your USB drive with the Windows ISO file and select that in Win2USB. Finally, select your external SSD and then for the partition scheme, select GPT for UEFI. This process actually will take a good 20 to 30 minutes depending on your SSD, so don't worry if it seems like it's stuck. And after that, your SSD is now good to go. Now we'll be changing the permission settings so that we can boot off an external drive. Know that this setup is only required if you have a T2 chip. If you don't know whether or not you do have it, just follow along anyways, just in case. Anyways, to change your boot permissions, while on macOS, simply click Restart and immediately hold down Command R. Once you're here, click on Utilities and then Start Up Security Utilities. All you have to do now is select Allow Boot from External Medium on the bottom. So after this, we can simply just click the Apple logo, then Restart and immediately hold down the Options key. And finally, now we should be able to see EFI boot, which is our external drive that we will be booting to. And we can select that by simply using the arrow keys to navigate and then press enter to boot into Windows Setup. So using an external wired keyboard and mouse is the only way to navigate through this setup screen. The setup process is pretty self-explanatory, so I will fast forward this part. But one thing though, is that in the internet part, it will try to ask for an internet connection but because the broadband drivers are not installed yet, it is not possible to get an internet connection going. So all you have to do in this case is just click I don't have internet and then continuing on with the rest of the setup process.
So finally, after you complete the setup and boot into Windows, make sure to plug in the USB drive from earlier with the driver files, and then go into the Windows support folder, bootcamp, and then finally select the bootcamp installer. From there, all the drivers should be automatically installed. After it installs, it will ask if you want to restart your computer, and make sure to do that for the drivers to take effect. Once you do restart, it is possible for the native keyboard and trackback drivers to still not work, but for that, all you have to do is do this process again, and this time it will attempt to repair the drivers. After the second time, if it still appears that you can't get your keyboard or mouse working, you might have to simply wait a little bit. I'm still not sure why this is happening, but I think this is only a problem on the new MacBook Airs, so it's very likely that you won't face this problem at all, the same that I did. So guys, hope you did find this tutorial helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did find it helpful, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.